All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Kuda Education. Today, we are going to talk about Vulkan API command buffers. And uh, command buffers are basically, in my opinion, what I would like to call pre-communication. So what it is, is that you basically declare your instructions to the Vulkan API, to the framework, to the application, to the system before it actually has to execute it. So in its entirety, you tell Vulkan exactly what it is you want to do. You pre-communicate, pre-communication, you pre-communicate what it is you want to do. And the reason for that is because once you have this done, the uh, compiler, the system, the optimizer, it can, it can basically know the best way to allocate memory, the best way to rearrange stuff in order to achieve the goals that you want to do. The big difference with OpenGL is that OpenGL has no visibility into the future. It has no visibility about the entirety of the application. It has no visibility in terms of what's coming next, how many of what's coming next, even if what you just sent is going to be repeated 10,000 times. It has no visibility on the future. So the Vulkan API allows you to do pre-communication, allows you to basically tell Vulkan what it is you want to do, uh, basically, you record you record a bunch of uh, instructions, and then you save those instructions so that um, you know when it comes to runtime, Vulcan already knows what needs to happen, what needs to happen with the pipeline, what needs to happen with with all all the different things that you're doing, and it it sort of is a better um, situation. There is also another added benefit of um, having command buffers. And the added benefit has something to do distinctly with modern technology. It has, has to do distinctly with parallel processing. So when you have a command buffer, you don't only just have one command buffer, you could have several command buffers. So it could, one could be the primary command buffer. And then you have other command buffers. So maybe you're creating a scene. Maybe you're, you're, you have different objects in the scene. You have different kinds of lighting. You have different kinds of um, processing that needs to be done. You can save these command buffers prematurely uh, in your application. And um, you could execute these command buffers. Now, th there's a hierarchy in the command buffer system. There are primary command buffers and secondary command buffers, which... I will discuss in my tutorial below. So definitely check out uh, tutorial number eight. I'll provide a link below that goes into actual code and everything. But you can have several command buffers that does everything. But here is the icing on the cake. They can be done in parallel. So all of this is being done simultaneously, all parallel. They're all happening at the same time in different threads. And that is the beautiful thing about the Vulkan API. Um, you could get all this stuff done in parallel. Parallel processing, right? Okay. Parallel processing. So these are all done at the same time. And that's, that's an excellent thing because now you can explicitly take care. You could explicitly take advantage of GPU hardware of, G, of of parallel processing on the GPU because you have these series of command buffers that are dedicated to um, rendering something on the screen of your choosing or, or even if you want to do something in the background, if you need to do calculations, whatever. It's not a linear um, one after the other sort of setup. It's all these things done in parallel. So this, this, all, this, this all could represent one second right? All being done at the same time. So you have four different things being done in one second, all at the same time. So that is the beauty of the Vulkan API of modern um, hardware design, of uh, modern software design, where you can explicitly take advantage of parallel processing and um, 
You could also do synchronization. You could do um, a, a bunch of stuff. Anything to do with parallel processing, you, you pretty much can do um, in the Vulkan API one way or the other. Also remember that the Vulkan API is not just graphics. Vulkan API is also, um, it's also compute. So you could, you could use the Vulkan API to do some really heavy uh, processing calculations, etc., and not have anything rendered to the screen. <clears throat> and Vulkan is perfectly fine with that. It's called Vulkan Compute. So um, the, other, the other minor thing that you want to, well, maybe it's not minor, but the other thing that you want to, um, you, you want to keep in mind while you're uh, going through tutorial number eight is that command buffers um, are spawned from a command pool. Okay, so the command pool basically spawns all of these command buffers. And what is a command pool? A command pool is basically a means of pre-allocating system resources. So memory, um, you know, whatever other arrangements, but mainly memory and, and things of that near hardware resources that you need in order to execute these command buffers. So even before you, you reach runtime, the application and, and Vulkan and everything knows how many resources you need and what instructions you're going to execute and what's the linearity of each of the instructions, you know, how many of them, how much is repeated, how much is different, how much is, uh, you know, sort of uh, uh, exotic, if you will, or, or rare, rare processing or things that are not normally used. It has all visibility right then and there. And that that is um, in in a, in a big sense the competitive advantage of Vulkan. So as I've said in my previous uh, tutorials, um, tutorial number eight. So um, yeah, as I said, you know, learn learn Vulkan directly. Um, I don't I don't think it makes sense at this point in in time in the market to uh, spend time on OpenGL. Just learn Vulkan directly. There's a, there's a lot of stuff that's different and nuanced that, um, you know, it, it's just best to... to, to, to the, the thing with Vulkan is just you have to spend time with it. That's all it is. You just have to spend time with it. There, there's a lot of uh, opportunity and power in Vulkan. And unfortunately, with a lot of moving parts, there's a lot of communication. So uh, just, just spend time with Vulkan. Uh, I have these video walkthroughs that help you to, to basically, you know zoom through a lot of this stuff fast tutorial number eight um i deal with frame buffers command buffers command pools things of that nature in tutorial number eight um and yeah guys that's uh cuda education for you i hope you enjoy this video tell your friends uh get on the vulcan api uh train it's it's the future it's where where the market is heading you talk about ar augmented reality virtual reality hologram um, and, and just, just everything else <laughs> it's, it's going to be on the Vulcan Vulcan API. So get ahead of the market, learn now. So you could, uh, be ahead of the game. All right. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.